Hello, YouTube. Yes, I'm going to be discussing about WWE 12. So, I'm going to criticize the game. If you don't like what I'm saying, then just simply leave. I don't want to start no arguments or whatever. But this is just my basic opinion about the game. I don't even play this game hardly. But here we go. WWE 12 is a fucking disappointment. Yes, it is a disappointment. I actually enjoyed 2010 and 2011. I can say that they catered to the people who couldn't even fucking play those two basic games. Why I say that? Because they sitting here putting a pin system that you have to fucking time. That's stupid. Just because you couldn't even tap your buttons... You know, you want a bitch to complain, so, you know, they had to cater to the little bitches. So here we go with the retarded pen system. I also don't like how they want to sit here and do all this amazing advertisement, like the game is going to be so fun, oh, it's going to be good graphics, oh, the music going to be better, live auditorium. When I fucking try to come out with my character, listen to their music, you can't even hear this bullshit. The fucking crowd is basically talking. It's like my music is nothing. So therefore, they fail with that. I also don't like, you know, they want to sit here and talk about, you know, we fixed the move set so for the turbo controllers and shit. They didn't do a fucking thing. Only thing they basically did was, you know... You know, I kind of messed up, but still. You know, with the turbo controllers, okay, kicking out, you know, people. Okay, I understand why they changed some of this stuff, but then again, it's stupid. Okay, just like, you know, running outside the ring. You can't even run outside the ring quickly no more. You have to sit there, stop, wait, and get out. No one has time for that stupid shit. But basically, they want to change something like that to make the game more retarded. And then you can only roll out the ring three times. Okay, why three times? You have momentum. So if you didn't have mo no more mo momentum, you know, if you're getting your ass kicked, oh, well, you know, you better try to wait, you know, find a way to get the fuck out. And I also don't like how they want to sit here and try to say, oh, you can sit here and create your arenas. Okay, what's the point of creating your arena if you can't fight online with them? I find that kind of stupid, too. A waste of time just adding stuff, unnecessary things in there. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but then again, it's stupid. I also don't like that you have to wait to unlock someone just to get a certain move. That's fucking stupid, too. So whoever came up with that genius idea, yeah, you're stupid. And for the people who listen to me right now, I know they're going to try to say they smart comments. You don't know what you're talking about, whatever. But you know what? People see what the people who I talk to see what the fuck I see. It's fucking stupid, like I said. And then, I also don't like the closing. Don't get me wrong, this game is, you know, it's alright. But I don't even play it like that. But the game is also sexist. Let's get to talking about the divas. Okay. You have your main character. They can do six on six tag matches. They can do all these things. Even have more outfits than the fucking females. Yes, don't get me wrong. I play with males too. But to be honest, I play with the females more. I just love them. I just like playing with them. But the whole point of what I'm trying to say is, what's so hard to sit here and add a three on three tag divas match? You can simply go on you know, expedition mode or whatever you want to fucking call it, and have a tag on tag with manager with divas. What's the difference? Why couldn't THQ stay here and add a simple tag match with three on three? And then all this fucking, you know what, I also have to add this in. With this mixed tag team match, when I was playing store mode, um... I don't know what what it was, the Irish group, when it was Layla, and she had somebody, I guess William Ringo or somebody else, uh, but Ringo, I, I think I call him Ringo, whoever, whoever the fuck he is, I'm trying to make a point here, and she was playing against 
It doesn't matter whoever was the diva on the other side. The point is, you can't even have a match like that online. Well, how come you can't have a mixed tag team match with two guys and one girl? And that's another thing I don't get. They have the material to do so, but THQ is so fucking lazy, they don't want to do anything. No one wants to sit here and play with males all the day. And I don't understand why people want to sit here, oh, divas all week. No, whatever, that's bullshit. Divas are fun to play with just as the men. And I just like to play with my divas because, it's, you know, it's different. It's something different. We play with men all fucking day. We create them all day. Let's just do something with the divas and whatever. And then I also don't like as when you create your diva and shit, the outfit, oh, my God, it's fucking sloppy. The skirt that I seen, the little brown skirt, whatever it is, you can explain yeah, you can go explain that to him because I have to hear that from you because I can't, I don't know that part. Right. Yeah, and I also find that fucking stupid too. Yeah, um, the white patch. Yeah, it sounded like I was talking to myself. I was actually talking to someone. The white patch glitch, yes, when you're trying to add something like on their breast or the genital area or whatever, not saying we're doing something perverted, that's also stupid because the thing glitched too. I find that kind of stupid too. And then they had like the laundry and, not laundry, but the lingerie, excuse me if I pronounced that wrong, I got a thick ass accent. But still, they had, like, the lingerie for the Divas in 2010, and they subtracted that from, you know, from 2011 and 12. They added one fucking funky-ass bra top with strings. Wow. That's a big change. One bra. They could have did a little better than that, but obviously they want to be so fucking lazy. 2011 and 2010... I have to say that was the best I played because it was so fucking fun. It was like a brawl. I love that game. I'm not bragging. I toot my own horn, but I was kicking ass in 2011 with my divas and whatever. Even with people in 10, even when people cheat online or whatever and doing that freeze glitch, we still manage sometimes to win. I'm not saying that I never lost a match. I can lose a match fair, square, and whatever without cheating. Look at this bitch online. But that's basically what I want to say. The game is sloppy this year. I won't be by it no more. But I'm playing Resident Evil Operation, so that's keeping me entertained. That's all I want to say about it. There's to improve on your shit because it's fucking sloppy. I don't know what you was thinking this year. It's garbage. It's just, just dumb. A waste of money. Stop over advertising shit what people can't do. Stop lying and sitting here saying you adding these new fucking movesets. And it's not hey, new. Hey, Dean. 